So, hello everyone. Topic natin for today is knowability of God. So, now na we are able to talk about the necessity of God's revelation, we will now proceed to talk about the fact that we can never fully understand God. So, see God, He is said to be infinite. And tayo as creatures ay finite. Ang sabi sa systematic theology uh, is that God is knowable and incomprehensible. So it may seem to be a contradiction at first glance, pero hindi. God is incomprehensible kasi in a sense na we cannot know God fully or exhaustively. So mas luma to na meaning compared sa bago na pag incomprehensible and capable to be understood. So magkaibang senses yung ginagamit natin. So ulitin ko, God is incomprehensible kasi in a sense na we cannot know God fully or exhaustively. And this does not deny the fact na we can know God meaningfully. So yung analogy ay ang relationship natin with other people. So we know some things about them, pero we don't know them fully. So we don't know ilan yung total na book nila, ilan yung total number of cells na nag exist sa body nila, ilan yung bagong cells na nakrecreate specifically or particularly sa body nila. We don't know that. And kahit hindi lang sa mga ganong facts, but yung deepest secret nila, hindi natin malalaman unless, of course, i-reveal nila ito. Or if may taong nakakaalam na magda-divulge nun sa atin. And yung incomprehensibility ni God is something na makikita natin sa maraming passages sa Bible. Sa Psalm 145.3, sabi, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise is greatness no one can fathom. So sa passage na ito ay clear na ang greatness ni God is not something na fully mag natin. So Psalm 147.5, uh, Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. So dito naman it talks about God's understanding having no limit. Psalm 139.6, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Dito naman it talks about God's knowledge being so high na mahirap ito ma-achieve. Uh, sa 1 Corinthians 2, 10 to 12, These are the things God has revealed to us by Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. So, dito naman clear na ang makakaalam lang talaga fully ng deep things of God ay ang Spirit of God. If we think of our own thoughts, we don't share a part of our lives. And it will be hard for other people to know our thought. So the uh, deep things of God, is it is not something that we get to understand in our own strength and fallen nature. Ang fully lang na makaget kay God ay si God talaga mismo. Uh, Romans 11.33 Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. So dito sa passage where Paul talked about God not fully rejecting his people dahil merong believing remnant na by grace ay masave. We can see that Paul talks about God's ways as being very deep in wisdom and in knowledge na ito ay mahirap maintindihan. Based sa mga passages na ito, uh, we can say na yung incomprehensibility ni God ay nag-apply on different aspects of God that we know. So example is yung kanyang attribute. So we can never know each one exhaustively, but we can say na at least we understand it somehow. What this doctrine shows us is that hindi natin makilala si God fully. Lagi tayong may bago na matututunan about Him. Hindi tayo mapapagod in terms of discovering something wonderful about God. Kahit glorified na tayo, I will always have new things to learn about God and that our joy and delight kay God ay mag-grow as we get to know Him more. So this shows in application that dapat, as a Christian, ay hindi tayo mag-stop to grow intellectually about God. It's an intellectual pride if we think na alam natin everything that needs to be known about God. 
na hindi na natin need mag-continue na mag-grow sa knowledge natin of God. 